So this is a very wonderful question in terms of uh, which you are asking me, Saurabh. Unfortunately, you know, uh, the account has been, is not no more operational now. I will probably have to go ahead with creating a new account. You know why this happened? Because my credit card is uh, Canadian and we are operating this account from India, Indian IP address. They detect that and then they say that there is a problem. I have told them several times that I keep visiting Canada and India, both the countries. And what's the problem if I use my Canadian card in India? They don't understand. These, these people say, no, we want you to use only the Indian credit card. Okay, nevertheless. So Lena has also joined in. Hi, Lena. Hi, Chef Pali. Hi, Saurabh. So I was, I'm just trying to... Uh, you know clear certain doubts uh, so Saurabh you have asked me how much uh, budget have we consumed so far let's say I'm on the home page okay home page of my Google AdWords account I can first of all click on all time just to check how much money have we used so far so it's telling me 3,355 uh, rupees okay Saurabh now if you're asking me how much was being consumed like yesterday I can go ahead and change my dates right i can do for today uh, so yesterday 944 rupees were being uh, consumed now today if i talk about nothing just because the account they have uh, suspended because of the same reason like like i told you the credit card being canadian and we being sitting here in india right so does that answer your question Saurabh? first of all your question was you are paying 8000 per day for the ad but sometimes it appears that some it uh, sometimes it appears and sometimes it doesn't. Okay, the reason why it appears sometimes and the reason why it doesn't because yesterday when you were checking, uh, that time the overall budget had got consumed, I believe. And when you increase the budget, then the you know uh, clicks started coming in and the ads started popping up. Okay, now your next question is where we can see our budget is exhausting i have already told told you that makes sense Saurabh, does that answer your question just give me a moment uh... Right, so let's let's get started. Uh, so today we're going to be covering all over. What do you say? We'll start with Google AdWords. This is our second session of this batch. Right, guys. Uh, for some of you, it might be a repeat uh, repeated thing, and for some of you, it might be a new thing. So in our last session, we had covered uh, what all digital marketing is all about and uh, entire just a sec. yeah so what all uh, the last session was all about what all are we going to cover in this entire course right and uh, all the topics which are going to be covered in it now this time we are initiating with google adwords just a sec. i guess someone is being on the unmute mode no any further questions you have from the previous sessions or any whatever sessions you have uh, been part of so far do you want me to take your doubts first so i know lena you have been part of different group shifali you have been on and off sort of uh, you have also been part of uh, you know some of the other sessions so i can first of all in order to uh, before i begin i can uh, since we have a small size right now a couple of more students were expected to join in but they had to go somewhere i can go ahead and uh, talk to you about uh, whatever doubts you have first of all any doubts in terms of uh, seo email marketing google adwords whatever we have whatever you have covered so far Mm, no okay sort of do try that the email platform which i have given you Lena, do you have any queries 
Shefali, which you want me to address. I mean, I can I can definitely address if I know the answer as well. Uh, Lena, you all uh, can you uh, I I you can you can type uh, because the way we actually work is that uh, I I do the speaking part and uh, I encourage others to type in. Uh, otherwise, it becomes a cross connection. So I'm I'm putting you on the mute mode, uh, Lena, again and again. Uh, if you can type in, please. Okay, so uh, can okay, so yeah. Any any questions you have, Lena? Do you want me to address to something? If you have any queries or questions, all good. Okay, so let me begin by Google AdWords. You guys have a uh, what do you say? You guys can choose. Do you want me to start the, with AdWords or with search engine optimization? I believe AdWords is much more easier than SEO. So let's start with AdWords only. All of you have the entire course curriculum where uh, which talks about what exactly we're going to be covering in the entire course. So the very first thing, you need to have a Google, Gmail account in order to work on Google AdWords. I hope the basics are clear to each one of you in terms of what all Google AdWords uh, does, what is this product all about, and why do we use this as a marketer? Are we clear on that part? Yes, the basics are clear, okay. Right, I believe Shefali and Saurabh, you both are also good on the basics part. So I need to make sure that everybody is on the same page. So just to give you a recap, uh, we as digital marketers, why do we want our, uh, why do we do marketing first of all? We are doing marketing for, you know, getting sales presence, uh, more eyeballs, more, uh, you know, leads and all that. And all these leads and online sales will come in with the help of a website. So since we are not teaching you how to get a website, but we, uh, I'll be giving, I mean, I have given to some of you so or we already have a website or uh, Lena and Shefali, I'll be giving you a free website. Once you have a website, you make that up. Well, pretty easy stuff, just like the way you edit your uh, Facebook page uh, or a Facebook profile, you can edit your website and create that. And once you do that, you need traffic onto your site, right? You need traffic and the way you will get traffic is through several different ways. Let's say you want to optimize your website. You want people to come onto your site whenever they type in Let's say, uh, let's take an example of what Shefali is into. Shefali is into, uh, you know, some uh, ladies' handbags and all that stuff. So uh, she, let's say, someone type in by handbags for ladies in West Delhi. So probably her target area is West Delhi. She she resides in West Delhi. And uh, she's into uh, she deals into ladies' handbags and whatnot, many other things. Now, what her uh, business objective would be that if somebody types in this keyword, this query, her website should be on the top. Now, this is how we get our website on the top. Uh, I mean, these ad ones with the help of adverts. I hope you all know that, right? I'm. I hope I'm uh, making sense, guys. So. Keep letting me know with a yes or a no so that uh, we, I can move ahead. Uh, when I, uh, uh, so makes sense, right? So that's the kind of a keyword which uh, probably Shefali, I mean, this is something which comes to my mind. Maybe Shefali, you can help me with any different kind of a keyword. If, uh, if she's into this uh, business, maybe she'll uh, look for getting her website on the top. How are you guys uh, aware of how many uh, these paid ads are there in one of the search result pages? Any idea, guys? Three, yeah. Three, that's on the top. 
So Lena says 11, absolutely right. 3 plus 8. Lena, you got that right. So 3 on the top and 8 on the right hand side, which is on the uh, extreme right. So you have total 11 uh, paid ones, these paid search results. And then how many non-paid ones are there in one, one, of, uh, one search engine result page, which is this first one. How many non-paid are there? Lena, I hope uh, you must be knowing that. Shefali, even you know that. Saurabh, are you around Saurabh? So how many non-paid search listings are there in one of the search result page? Should be quick. Lena, you were very quick on the paid ones. So, right, it's configurable. Absolutely right. So if I'm uh, doing it by default functionality, then it's 10. So if I'm not changing any settings of my browser, I can go ahead and change that settings on my browser. If I'm not, then three on the top uh, paid ones and eight on the right paid ones and the non-paid ones are going to be 10. Absolutely right. Makes sense, uh, Shefali and uh, Saurabh. So what we will be covering today is we're going to be just making certain ads. I'll make you introduce first of all to uh, Google AdWords. How, how does the overall, uh, what is the overall platform all about? You have got to know that the idea is to use this platform as an advertiser and uh, make your site rank up on the top results. Why is it that, can you guys tell me, just try to make a guess, why is it that Amazon is on the top and Zabong is on the third third page on the third sorry listing and I hope most of you also know that how do these people pay to Google so there is a transaction involved between Amazon and Google Amazon has bid in for more uh, says Lena okay and bid in like for the per, per click basis right yeah so Shifali says same uh, yes uh, definitely higher the higher your bid uh, better ranking you achieve but sometimes it's bid uh, including along with your quality score so quality score matters a lot there is a quality score which is given to uh, every keyword which you for which you run an ad and this is given out of 10 so 0 out of 10 if you have a quality score of 0 and the quality score uh, matters a lot on three major things i'll come on to that let's start with the basics i'll tell you some major basics for uh, Google AdWords, just a sec. Grant me apologies, uh, guys. I'm uh, My throat is not uh, uh, well. Uh, I'm having some harshness in my throat. So uh, I'll be speaking the way I have been speaking just now. So a bit low today. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Just a second. Right. So I'll be sharing this, uh, these uh, decks, these presentations, which I'll be using at later stage. All right, so that's how the overall Google AdWords certificate looks like, which you will be doing it later on. Uh, this is some uh, good to know stuff. Uh, I know I don't think so. You need to know all that because uh, you guys are way ahead than that. Some. So how, how does it be, uh, begin? You guys all know that so I've covered that part. Covered this part also. You know PPC and SEO, the difference. And AdWords and AdSense, uh, these are two other different platforms. I hope uh, both of you are also clear on that part. Yes, okay. Right, so we have text ads, image ads, and YouTube ads, uh, the video ads, which are part of Google AdWords. So just to begin, I'm so sorry, the main people who were supposed to come in today, they haven't joined in yet. 
because uh, you guys are taking uh, a repeated session which is absolutely fine uh, so just wanted to understand from you guys uh, have you do you have any questions in terms of uh, this uh, the adword structure so this is very first thing which i want to tell you across how does a google adword structure look like you have a main account which is associated with one of the unique email address and a password and a billing information then you have campaign so lena i'm not really sure on what uh, you have started with uh, uh so when right up there uh face to face sessions so you're clear on that part i believe shefali you are also clear on this so for you guys it's bit of a repetition and uh, i've done it till campaign and ad group okay yes okay you guys are clear on this so i probably don't need to tell you again uh the keywords and the ads are still to be done okay okay i'm thinking of uh, making you do some other topic because it's pretty strange that uh, th three of the more three of the most important students who were supposed to come in they are on leave today and you guys have already done this so i'm not finding any value of uh, educating you on the same stuff again how about how about if you want me we can wait for others to join no they are some way or the other they are uh, pretty irresponsible uh, behavior from them uh, they they didn't uh, they they have gone somewhere and not joined in so what i can do let's how about if i if we take uh, facebook marketing as one of our session today i believe uh, that's going to make some uh, more interesting stuff Google AdWords we'll cover in once, right? So that's fine, makes sense, right? Sort of how about you? That'll be nice. Okay, great. So that's something which is going to be new for you. I don't want to talk about the same stuff which uh, you've already been part of. All right. Hmm. So okay. now facebook why do we guys use facebook you want to take your okay your page absolutely i'll do that okay sure i have your page with me so for the very first time i will just do some chit chat session guys what exactly google uh, the facebook uh, page cannot be uh, bought on top very easily it takes uh, a lot of effort uh, what i would be covering is the the paid media part so with facebook marketing majorly it's the advertisements on the right which are most successful if you type in any keyword on uh, google you won't find facebook pages to be ranking high you would majorly find websites blogs or videos to be ranking high so uh, so in terms of facebook okay i'll i'll tell you each and everything what you can do with facebook Let, uh, let's imagine the same example which i am taking uh that shefali has a business which is into again it's it's a local business which uh, takes care of products like ladies handbags and ladies uh, wallets in uh, you know all those accessory kind of things uh, and she has a predefined uh, you know geographic location now how she can actually get in touch with the right audience very first thing which we generally go with is the right hand advertisements now with these right hand advertisements being there uh, you always need a website or a landing page when you click on these ads you jump onto a page which is always called a landing page right you have to build that upon you know this is a landing page uh, now what is this user trying to do with this particular uh, facebook page they are trying to attract uh, me and uh, me as in the user who is using uh, facebook profile right if i click on this if if it excites me i'm going to click on to it if i think i need this travel combo deal i click and i land on to a page and on this page i'll find all those uh, what do you say products which they are selling across but this is not the right way of doing it whoever has done that 
is not the is not a smart marketer because whenever you do you make your audience con you know way much uh, focused guys there is always a two click philosophy let me tell you there's a two click philosophy which works in uh, internet marketing which says which says that if i this is one click so i uh, you know if you i am being offered let's say this particular pillow and the reason why i'm clicking on this is because i need this or i need that this 3 in 1 travel cam combo when i click on this that's first click after clicking on it that's uh, that's where i should be getting that product now why this marketer is not smart because those products which were listed out there should have been way too big should have been represented here on this particular page had that been done my i mean there would have been a flow there would have been a flow in my mind that this product i need that i click on it and i'm expecting that same product to be right up here but i'm getting confused with so many things i can uh, the chances that i'll probably drop in drop sorry drop out drop out of this website now if i uh, that product would have been here i would have maybe gone ahead clicked on the second click i would have done and the second click probably should have been on the pain product page and the third third and final should be on the buy so within two clicks philosophy says within two clicks if you can make the customer go to uh, you know uh, go to the exact product which you have been talking about in your advertisement then you're doing the right job if you are making it so hard for the end customer to reach to that particular product like after three clicks or four clicks or five clicks then the conversions are going to be less make sense in terms of the two click philosophy guys so this is not the right thing to do uh, always right thing to do is to have a targeted uh, what do you say products now let's start with creating an advertisement like this do you guys know how to make an what do you say a facebook page you can need, you would need a facebook page you would need a website to get started with this so sort of you know leena and shefali shefali you know how to create a facebook page i know leena are you aware about that okay no problem so i'll i'll start with creating a facebook page that's something which is the most basic part and pretty easy uh, leena not much of a uh, rocket science so when you click on that this arrow which is on the right it says create a page it will ask you very few simple steps if you have a business for which you want to go ahead and do that let's say we do that for your creations australia which we have been speaking about i can do that i can click on company organization or institution i can choose the category let's say the categories is the internet or software i mentioned the name i mentioned it's an internet marketing agency let's click on get started let's see whether it approves or not sometimes there are factors which comes into role which uh, okay so here we go we have done that uh, that's being registered and it's asked me next thing which which it's asked me is tell people what your page is all about so as of now i'm just uh, writing uh, a dummy text kind of a thing but we can think of uh, in detail so we are trying to make a web page of an internet marketing agency uh, which is based out of sydney uh, australia right this can be changed so like you asked me there this one question how do we get our web page uh, facebook page on the top so uh, on the top for the predefined keywords if you have keywords in mind for which you want your which you want to rank your uh, what do you say uh, for which you want to rank your uh, facebook page then you can embed those keywords within your what do you say description so you can have much more description a detailed description over here next thing is that give me a moment 
So next thing is that you mention your uh, website address, which is going to be ucreations.com.au. And this is guys called a web. Oh, not, uh, okay, I am actually Rina, getting that uh, URL uh, registered. So that's the reason why I, I've spoken to someone. I'm getting that dot com dot au one. So uh, I've spoken to someone. So I hope it's fine if I go ahead with this. And next thing is called a, a vanity URL. So vanity URL is like you know a domain for uh, a domain for yourself. So a domain in the sense you will definitely have facebook.com, but whatever you choose over here is going to be registered. It's going to be a short form of your of what uh, your page will have. So whosoever will type in this, let's see whether it's available or not. It says it is. This is guys called a Facebook vanity URL. Do you see you your overall page won't be a big uh, URL. You know, it won't be spread out like a pretty long URL. It's going to be a simple, short and crisp and talks exactly to what uh, your page is all about. So that was about creating a Facebook page. And how do we go about promoting it? All you need is now more information, guys. Uh, so like Lena, I uh, was telling you about uh, creating the Facebook page. All of you know that, Saurabh and uh, Shefali as well. You just go ahead and uh, get a picture imported from the website and all that stuff. Uh, let's do that. Or I'll, that can be done later on, right? I will, I'll just go ahead and skip it. So this can be done later stage, uh, I mean, right? So you can upload the picture and uh, I'll jump on to the paid marketing part. I'll show you how does an advertisement is being set up, the advertisements which you see on the right hand side. Now I'll take a different example. I'll take the, uh, I'll take uh, Chef Ali's uh, web pay, uh, Facebook page example, sorry. Just give me a moment, just close this. Yeah, right. So uh, some problem with my give me a moment, guys, just one second. I'm checking my Internet connection. Some problem with that. All right. So the page which we have created, I'm just trying to see whether that got created or not. Strange. My Internet shouldn't have this much problem. All right, so we can go ahead and do that. I'm just skipping it for a while. Yeah, right. That's great. So that's been created. So we we can check that page. I mean, we can get that completed at a later stage. Uh, Lena, I'll make you the admin for this as well. And we can get going with it, right. No problem. Thanks. So I have another page uh, for which we will try making in an advertisement, a right hand side advertisement. That page actually belongs to Shefali. All right, so I believe that's the one. Right, Shefali, so that's uh, 
the page for which we will be making advertisement, the right hand advertisements. So once you are the admin of a page, it Google will straight, sorry, Facebook will straight away ask you, this is one thing which is missing. You know, you can create a call to action. You can possibly maybe say that, uh, yes, I'm the admin. That's right. Uh, you've given me the admin rights way back. So you can click on contact us and give in your website details if you have, or this is one of the button which comes on the top, or you can say even sign up. So if you have a website, you can have these buttons, sign up, contact us, all that. So let's say I do, maybe you can have website at a later stage. Okay, so you will see uh, a button which will come on the top, which will say contact us. And once someone's click on this, he or she would be actually taken over to the main website, the website URL which I've given. I know Shifali, it's uh, not being booked. I'll book that later on, uh, that URL for you. So the URL which I'm talking about is this. If you think that's, that works best, I'll check for its availability. So in order to create a right-hand side advertisement for this, you can see on the right hand side promote click on that part promote your page now there are two things i can send people send people to my it's differently looking on laptop uh, not really sure yeah oh, okay you have always probably seen it on uh, mobile then definitely they, they always look different on laptops and mobile so there are two major ways you can visit your uh, you can uh, you know promote your stuff you can uh, uh, make visitor go directly to your website. So if someone clicks on your advertisement, which we'll be creating, let's say this is an advertisement, someone clicks on that, you want the visitor to make uh, to land on your website, then you go ahead and click on this. If you don't want that, or if you don't want the visitors, the ad clickers, people who will click on the ad to visit on your website, but do you want them to visit on your web Facebook page, click on this one. This will promote your Facebook page. Okay, so do you guys see there are uh, different options which are being given? Learn how, how to give landing page on Facebook. So landing page has to be created. Uh, if you have, a, let's say you have a website. If you have a website uh, within that, uh, within your website, you have a web page which you want to be used as a landing page, then it will ask you for that. Right, so I'll, I'll take that. So let's start with, first of all, the uh, Facebook page part, and then I'll come on to the mobile uh, website part where you will put in the landing page, okay? So this is, first of all, if you are trying to make the visitor go on to your uh, Facebook page, then you go ahead and either upload an image or you can reposition the image Let's say I don't want it this way. I can reposition it. This tells me how my advertisement is going to look like on a laptop or a desktop. Okay. I want to change my text. I can anytime do that. I can mention my number. Whatever uh, do you want to place across your number, uh, Shefali, uh, HTS. I can do that. If not, let's go ahead and remove that whichever way you want. So deals in suits and kurti material, handbags, bed sheets, and much more, whichever way you want to be, want this to get promoted. Okay. So, but you need to have so, something exciting, you know, in terms of your, what do you say? Your text ad copy really needs to be exciting. Uh, Let's say deals on suits and kurti material, handbags, bed sheets, and much more. Uh, this is, let's say, 10% off or 15% or free shipping or COD, free cash on delivery. All these kind of things really have much more impact. These words, because people generally look for these kind of motivate, motivating 
uh, stuff you know if they are being offered a discount of they are being offered let's say something uh, free along with something or a free shipping or a free cash on delivery they all these things really helps in attracting visitors in uh, getting much more targeted clicks you can play around with this at a later stage i'm just setting it uh, and you can set which city you want to go for so you can even have states uh, selected the country wise so you just targeting new delhi you can go ahead with that interest it's automatically showing people who are interested who have already liked uh, you know who have written shopping handbags shopping and fashion online shopping clothing in their profile will only get to see your ad right i'll i'll i'm coming on to the right hand side also sure this is the demographic uh, that's the ad copy sure lena i'll uh, i'm coming on to that and if i want to talk about so this is about uh, selecting my audience right whom who should ad, my ad uh, who should see my ad so this mobile news feed, feed and right column gets created automatically you know it will just shape up let's see if you know if it's like this much wide for mobile news feed it's going to be bit smaller see that's how it tells you it gives you it gives you a preview of how your advertisement will look like if it's on a mobile phone if it's in a desktop so news feed uh, what exactly a news feed is and what exactly a right column is i'll just come on to that this is a right column okay the the ad which we have seen that was a right column ad advertisement and the one which it uh, which will come over here this is a news feed guys if my ad this is a news feed if i get to see any ad over here that'll be a news feed ad okay it's going to be like this much big on a desktop do we need to make separate ad no or with one ad there will be all uh, what do you say resizing happen happening on its own this is a right hand right side ad this is an ad which is on the right hand side make sense this is a right side ad like i told you uh, it will look like this the mobile uh, the news feed on the mobile phone is going to look like this and this is the news feed which is sort of a home page for you wherever uh, where you get to know what all your friends or family or your colleagues are actually typing in your content and all that stuff right and this is how the uh, ad is going to look like in the news feed whenever it's someone checks in from a laptop or a desktop i can change the image i can reposition i can change the text i can now once this is the this is all about the ad copy the picture and the uh, text once that's being done i go on to the uh, targeting part whom should i make whom should i target in terms of showing my ad location i have selected the interest and all that i can add on more thing let's say uh, bed sheet i want to go ahead with bed sheets magazine maybe so blanket pillow mattresses whatever whatever you think it's right uh, so shivali does that answer your question we we don't need to make separate ads for all three within by just one we do it and lena i believe uh, your question also gets answered the desktop the mobile and the right column i have told you about that right okay great so uh, shefali you are the best judge you this is your baby uh, your product you know who is your target audience probably ladies who are can you show how you came to this page okay sure the way i came to this page lena was i had opened the okay i'm take showcasing that same thing to you by going on uh, by uh, clicking on a new tab i'm on a new tab now i go on to all the pages which i own uh, own in the sense the i'm the admin i go on to these pages i am admin of this particular page when i go on to the this particular page now this is my facebook page right clear on that part i have just opened my facebook page and i need to be the admin of that page if i want to promote it once i have uh, open the page on the right hand side it says promote promote your website and promote your page i have to cover this up lena i know 
but next thing which i did was promote your page and that's where i landed that's how i landed onto this page right can you see the same thing make sense right so i'm just uh, taking this further you can go ahead and device uh, i mean select the age part what age uh, do you want to target do you want to target like uh, people who are like 25 or 26 plus and only till maybe 40 so maybe your target audience are just women between 26 to 40 that's what i believe uh, Shefali, that's your 20 and more. Do you think they have the uh, money to spend on that? So, uh, I mean, you can just check. Okay, they are. Okay, that's great. Okay. Because uh, generally what I do, I uh, nowadays they have. But I generally go and bet for more money on that particular audience, which uh, I always get the maximum orders. So if you're not quite sure, uh, if it's like a mixed crowd with 20 to 25, then don't go for that. Then go just with 25 to 40. Uh, see, it's all about your spending in money. That's Shafali, is that matters. Let's say you spend in 1000 bucks or you spend in 10,000 bucks. You are showing your ad only to those. You want to show your ads only to those people who have a high chances of buying in products from you after looking at the ad. Now, if you don't want to target that, why don't you go ahead and do all gender why don't you select all age group and why don't you select all interest level and why don't you do it on the Indian level or the world level? Why do you want to select on everything? Why just New Delhi? Why just these new interest level? Why specific age group? Because you want to be so much specific, you have to hit the bullseye. You don't want to spend your money by showing your ad to everybody. That's going to be like wastage of money. So sort of so could you explain the daily budget means it depends on how uh, on us how much we are bidding or Facebook automatically decides I'll definitely so majorly with Facebook it's uh, uh, decide decided from Facebook end uh, so the uh, uh, bidding part with Facebook sort of it's decided by Facebook part a uh, Facebook end only but doesn't really uh, differ much. So Shifali, that means everybody will be clicking. Absolutely, if I'll take India, if I'll take overall world and uh, just uh, think about it, so many unrelated clicks, would you be offering this to everybody? And my money will be exhausted. Absolutely, your money should be concentrated on to that audience which you think is going to give you, uh, you know, sales. You, you have, everyone has a limited budget, right? And your limited budget should be spent on me showcasing your ad to those people who would be uh, buying in your product. The chances are higher. So money is exhausted on clicks or on impression. Okay, see, money is exhausted when the targeting is wrong, Lena. So money is spent either on the click basis or on the impression. So if you are using the word exhausted, money is exhausted on click on impression. Click on click or impressions are two different ways of paying money to Facebook. Okay, you pay to Facebook either on click basis or you pay to uh, Facebook on impression basis. But whether you are exhausting money or spending money or you are investing money, whatever, depends a lot on what audience are you targeting. So if your audience is wrong. Yeah, absolutely. So money. Okay. So the, if your question is money, if you're investing money on click on impression, then which one is better? Okay. The answer is if your uh, product, if your image is really strong, if your message is really strong, always go with impression guys for display ads. For display as in the picture, you know, not with the search ones. The answer is if you have a good, uh, you know, attractive picture with attractive uh, ad copy. Now, how do you decide whether it's it's an attractive picture and an attractive, uh, what do you say, uh, this headline thing? It's all about judging yourself first. And I usually go with click, you know, uh, advertising through click part first. I see how many clicks have come in for how many impressions. If my CTR is good, if I'm getting good number of clicks for every thousand impressions, 
it's going beyond like 4% or 3%. I change the mode from per click to per to per thousand impressions. Absolutely, you need to, uh, you, you can do the testing. You either do it by A-B testing or whatever. Yeah, you can do that sort of absolutely. Right. Where to put in setting, please use my money for impression. Okay, I'll come on to that. So is everybody on the right, same page? Uh, Shifali, makes sense. You have to uh, select the right audience. Don't go with that. Go with women and age part if you want to go with 20. Impressions is just looking absolutely. Impression is just all about uh, showcasing it. Daily budget, it's all up to you how much uh, daily budget you want to go for. So this is, okay, this one is actually giving us only likes. They're selling in likes. Okay, ignore this part, guys. They, they have fooled us. Other earlier they were just clicks. Now they are saying we'll for this much money we'll give you this much clicks. Oh, sorry, this much likes. Just a second. If I click on 323, so if I run it for seven days, likes is good because you get update on your news feed. Then, yeah. It's it's uh, fine uh, to be sure. I mean to uh, to to answer your question, likes does help. So how can that help, uh, say Shifali? What exactly? Uh, over here, I'm not getting the option of uh, paying for click or an impression. Rather, I'm getting play, paying for per likes. I never go for paying per for per like. Uh, this has always resulted in. Uh, you know, wasting of my money. I have, I have experienced that. Likes have never helped me. Do you get the likes? More impression is more helpful. So, see, it's like more impression is more helpful, provided your ad has to be good. If, if a thousand impressions, people are uh, clicking on your ad maximum number of times, it's making a lot of sense. Uh, Saurav says, but I have a question. When we go for interview, they ask that. We need likes without doing paid marketing. How can we get that much of likes? Okay, without paid marketing, you can get likes only with the help of good content on your web, on your Facebook page. Either you can have good contents in the sense like good pictures, good videos being showcased across, or you can uh, share that across on uh, your own profile with your friends and all. That's the in uh, non-expensive way. Otherwise, there are certain illegal ways sort of through which you can get likes and you can get thousands of uh, likes in that through that illegal way. But uh, I would never suggest you to go with that. If, if some organization asks you that, tell them straight away. You want that, your page can go for a toss, Shefali. And I say go for a toss, I mean, they, it can get blocked also, your page. So it's a big risk. But I'm asking for legal. So for legal, you your pro, what do you say? Content has to be good, uh, Saurabh. You have good, nice pictures, images, videos being created, and uh, there's no other way. Or you can just chit chat around on various forums and groups and uh, share your URL, your Facebook page URL on those groups and forums. But that's a most ineffective, in uh, yeah, ineffective way. Uh, it doesn't lead to much major push. Your product really needs to be strong. Your post, your content on the page really needs to be strong. So uh, Lena says two ways, content, absolutely. Your content has to be really nice and ask your friends, absolutely. So if you see, uh, if you want likes without paying in to Google, sorry, to uh, Facebook, I always keep saying Google. Uh, the idea is that uh, you have good content, good product, good schemes, good contest being running across. If you have any app which you for with which uh, your end customer can uh, interact with, then you can have that. So with even with uh, contest, people get excited. You have a much, uh, uh, you know, a good quality video, which is like sort of addictive in nature, which goes viral. Your content needs to go viral. That's what content has to be good. So I'm leaving this part to up till here. Don't go with the like part. I am, I am not a big, uh, advocate of uh, buying in likes i am a big advocate of buying either the clicks or the impressions so likes have never helped me in the past i have tried in uh, various fashion if you want to give it a shot that's your personal choice 
but uh, my experience has been that yeah, that's the most expensive way of paying in google see only 2 to 7 likes for 65 rupees it's like way too way too much otherwise uh, i'll i'll come on to that part i'm clicking on cancel as of now okay should i do that any further questions i hope uh, major thing which is how do you go about creating the text and the image and choosing the right audience that's being uh, okay so no questions uh, that's being uh, explained properly and uh, you have got that i'm canceling this the other way the other way is that you go on the right hand side click that drop down button just a sec some problem with the internet connection today it was working well since morning so this is the third session which i'm taking since morning and uh, uh, it's just this session the internet is troubling me any questions guys are you clear on this i hope all of you are aware of uh, impression click and a ctr so these three things you really need to be uh, sure about yes says saurabh chef ali and lena yes says lena chef ali you are clear on the ctr okay lena you are not sure about the ctr part okay clicks okay ctr is click through rate lena Shefali, are you around? Are you listening to me? Not really sure. She is. So CTR stands for click-through rate. So it's number of clicks upon number of impressions. Number of impressions into 100. Higher the CTR, better it is, which means that people are liking your ad and then they are clicking on it yeah wasn't that co covered in your sessions or maybe that would be covered later on okay that might be you can ask him no problem okay so when i click on the drop down button guys can you see it says manage ads this is one of the most favorite platform you know the ad ad platform for facebook i can click on that right don't don't go on this part i i owe money to facebook certain money so i this is uh, the amount of spending i've done with one of my ad accounts somewhere around like 1 lakh rupees with the other one it's like 7000 rupees and I have one of my account which is already running. Let me showcase to you uh, one of the existing advertisement which I'm running for, for a client of mine. That'll give you uh, much more understanding of how the overall uh, panel looks like when the ads are running. All right. So there was uh, there's this client of mine for whom I have been uh, running advertisements for past almost a month or so, maybe more than that. I'm just trying to edit. Okay, the last month, last year. All right. So it shows me the impressions and the money being spent. I'm getting deep into it. So this is a main business manager account and then an ad account underneath it. So this is one of the advertisements. Oh my goodness. $296 needs to be paid. Okay. So right. This is one of the advertisements which is uh, has been created by me.
so you can see the graph out here how many clicks have been uh, have got received how many <coughs> excuse me so 68 clicks on may 12th 41 on may 11th 21 so the number of clicks have been reported 75 have been on march uh, may 29th 65 on may 30th and my budget had been 10 dollars a day so can you beat it for like 640 rupees if i'm getting 75 clicks how much per click cost is when i started my per click cost was somewhere between 65 to 72 cents and this has uh, gone down further it's 0 0.43 when i say 68846 these are the total number of impressions i'll uh, showcase to you how the ctr is being calculated uh, they they do also they do calculate that so can you see click through rate tulina saurabh so right this ad is active 696 website clicks have been received so far 0 0.42 is the per click rate conversion value is coming out to 0 0.01 uh, i'll tell you about more about the conversion part so 69424 people uh, have seen the advertisement and when i say frequency uh, one particular person have almost seen uh, my ad three times so 2.96 means one person seeing my ad 2.96 times frequency means that right and total 720 clicks 720 clicks divided by 69000 whatever 424 into 100 if i do my click through rate is 0 0.350 which is not that good uh, considering it's a b2b product so it's perfectly fine facebook is very much effective when you have uh, when you do a b2c kind of a product promotion so let's say if i am trying to sell my seo services or my web development services facebook is not the right platform you will never find serious kind of a product being part of facebook because serious products are generally they generally get leads from search engine ads and uh, sometimes from the other display ads but search engine ads are the most effective ones Facebook's are Facebook ads are much more effective when it comes down to B2C kind of a thing like or the example which would we were taking which uh, Chef Ali has the hand uh, you know the handbags and all that stuff right uh, it's automatically you know telling me that if you have run your advertisement on the CPM basis dollar 1.43 would have been the cost but I am paying on per, on per click basis, which is coming out to be 0 0.42. So you can leave that part. Just concentrate on this no, so that you don't uh, get confused. So what is the ideal CTR for Facebook? I have achieved even 20-25% uh, sort of, but 2-4% uh, to 4 is something which is good. Somewhere, somewhere between 2-4% to 4 and uh, that generally gets uh, achieved when you have a good ad copy and good picture and your audience is being targeted right it's a fairly easy task but uh, you do a lot of uh, hit and try with different kind of images different kind of text and different uh, targeting in terms of the audience which you are trying to showcase your art to make sense Saurabh Lina, are you okay with this yes okay great so that's about the Facebook paid ads, guys. Uh, you can go ahead and create more uh, advertisements, which can directly uh, send across traffic to your, what do you say, website or send across traffic to your Facebook page. I just wanted to showcase that. right so that's the ad manager which i've got when i click on 
manage ads when you click on create ad after that you would see plenty of different uh, options you can even advertise a mobile app so lena a very good thing for you since you are into mobile app business uh get installs for your app you know you can get that you can do that increase engagement in your app that's something if you have an event for which you want to raise attendance you want to send across people to you can create a facebook event and then promote that across we can even uh, create a, you know a sort of an offer or even uh, promote across a video for views boost your post is something like what all post you do for on a particular web uh, facebook page you can boost them uh, you can make them show to n number of people whomsoever you want by just targeting the right audience i am a big fan of increase conversion on your website or send people to your website these two ones works the best the one which we did was promote your page guys this is all about like you can see the like button this is this was all about buying in likes right now we are trying to create ads so i have already shown you how to create ads with all of them an advertisement gets created only the mechanisms differ when i say mechanism i mean for this uh, you are just paying for the uh, likes over here you will just pay for the installation of the app over here you will just pay for every click which will happen uh, on the ad and the visitor will go to the website so more more or less they all are the same i can show you let's say increase conversion on your site it will ask me still ask me the same thing uh, leena saurabh which we have covered so far probably i'll ask you guys to play around with this take a website for which you can uh, would like to do take a website of your choice whether your own website uh, leena you want to do it for dot all go well yeah please uh, go ahead and do that saurabh you want to do it for uh dmp or for entromedia or whatever go ahead and do that i uh, feel free to do it somehow the internet is still troubling at my end not really sure so uh, first i'll create facebook page for absolutely please do that yeah create a facebook page for all go well and then uh, create certain advertisements different ways explore all of them and uh, let me know in case you have any questions right Okay, some trouble with my uh, internet, maybe, guys. Can we wrap up today's session? Could you tell me how we came in this page? I, I, okay. You can always see the recorded session, which I'll share with you. But uh, let me tell you again. Yeah, sure. Go onto the right hand side, the drop down, and then create ads. You getting me? On the right hand side, drop down, create ads. This is one way. right you can see all that is there make sense any further question so could you tell me how okay sorry that was you who have asked me okay so you got that okay great so can can we wrap up today's session because uh, we are not having much more audience and uh, in case you have for the questions feel free to ask me or i can give you a small brief on email marketing is facebook so facebook marketing has the paid paid marketing uh, from this perspective but there are, there is more stuff in terms of the kind of stuff you should be posting in and uh, so how you create a page that's being covered how you go about creating a facebook advertisement that's also i have shown across to you it's just that you need to play around with it but how what sort of content you should be posting across i can take that just a second okay give me a second guys
Right. So in Facebook marketing, what we really need to, uh, what else we cover in this is that what sort of updates you should have generally on the Facebook page. Any any thoughts on that? So let's say you have that uh, all go well page or uh, uh, sort of you have any other, you, you want to take any example, let's say you have the DMP page, what sort of content would you be posting in daily for engaging your audience? What is the idea with the Facebook page? You are trying to connect with your audience, right? You're trying to connect with people who have bought stuff from you or would like to buy stuff in from you who have liked your page or who can like your page, right? You're showcasing across, uh, absolutely. So you will try to show different products. That's one, absolutely. What else would that be? Saurabh, any thoughts? I believe uh, it's just you, Lena. now. <laughs> Everybody has dropped. That's strange. Okay, so I'll just share something with you in terms of how uh, I don't know. Shefali is having trouble with uh, logging in. She's not able to log in again, and uh, Saurabh not really sure what what happened to him. Other three guys couldn't make it. There were three other more students who had to join. Uh, you know. Uh, I like the online really. No problem, so you can be part of it anytime. So uh, that's your personal choice, whichever one. You wanna be part of both, you wanna be part of uh, yeah, just this particular one or that particular one, no problem. So uh, I'll, I'll share with you my other videos also. So, so selecting a right uh, or a relevant cover photo. So if you have that, will engage people by doing product marketing, contest, sharing videos, sharing pics. Absolutely right. So, so where were you, sort of? Uh, you were looking for you. We have a handful of people. That <laughs> that's why we were saying, uh, why, why, where did sort of go? Okay, no problem. So, having a relevant cover pick, guys, has uh, a lot of uh, significance. And sort of has uh, said that right. What you will try to do with uh, your Facebook page? So you will. Uh, Lena said that she'll be posting a lot of images about products, any, uh, you know, new products they're coming up with. And like Saurabh said, will engage people by doing product marketing contests, sharing videos, sharing pics. Absolutely. So you, it's all about the content part, right? The multimedia, multimedia content, like the videos, pics, and all that stuff for engaging, you'll have contest, right? Uh, I hope makes sense, right? So what generally people say with your cover pick, I hope you are aware of what a cover pick and what a profile pick is. Both of you are aware of the differences, right? Facebook is something which I don't need to teach anybody. Everybody is a master of Facebook page or a profile or Facebook platform, right? So, oh yeah, <laughs> because that's that's one of the web uh, website which is being uh, operated the most no matter whichever age group you talk to whether it's a small kid or someone who's in a, in his or her 50s 60s or 70s maybe i know even uh, people in their 60s are also using it uh, so 80 percent of your cover pic should be have should have an image and 20 percent should have a uh, text you know re remember this 80 to 20 ratio 80 to 20 percent ratio is something which should uh, which you should always follow 80 percent picture and 20 percent text i'm letting you know about one of the tool it's called page modo pretty simple tool this tool helps you to uh, create certain uh, good looking what do you say cover pic so it's called page modo.com welcome back shefali are you able to hear me she, so Shefali was trying to call me up. I was not able to pick up the call because I have to attend the class as well. Right, you are able to hear me. So I'm telling you about one of the tool. So each one of you should actually uh, explore this. It's called Page Modo. This helps you sign up on this. You can probably connect uh, with Facebook and this will help you to create some good looking cover pictures for your Facebook page. 
this is one of the industry renowned uh, you know tool so when i say this industry renowned uh, many many marketers actually use that so let's say you know a cover photo on the left if you see on the dashboard you can go at my voice has gone uh, now it's okay okay no i was not saying in something <laughs> right so i can go ahead edit a cover photo i can create certain uh, what do you say what do you call that collage and all that stuff uh, within page moto i leave that on to you pretty easy uh, tool to work on not much of a techy stuff i'll i'll cover the most important stuff right play around with this it will help you to create cover pic for your uh, facebook page okay or you can see it's asking me to you know uh, just like a designer you don't need to be a designer for this use a good title you can use it for an existing page absolutely so you existing for existing page you can use that <coughs> so for page modo if you log into page modo you can use that for you can write in whatever you want to you can replace this photo with whatever photograph you want so you have a collage kind of a thing and uh, the way you want that you can add in text you can have much more shapes you can have uh, the colors being edited any particular other theme you want let's say whichever one i mean you you guys are the best judge so let's say this one pretty uh, can pretty well work well for uh, the divine blessing the ladies one you can say uh, maybe enjoy 30% off uh, this this summers so new collection this summer or maybe whatever right this is a good picture you can replace this with whatever picture you want blah 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 i mean you you guys can take that so that's what uh, that is one you can select a cover photo guys For 80 to 20 percent uh, stuff, I have made you clever. 80 percent should be picture and 20 percent should be text. And having things like uh, you know buy now, get a discount, all this kind of uh, you know free shipping, free cash on delivery, all these uh, are certain calls to action. You know, get it now. Tell your friends. These are certain uh, keywords which you should have within your text within the cover page the cover photo i mean okay be consistent for posting so when i say consistent uh, it's all about uh, you know posting in about either your products or your services or any humor thing you want to share across so e humor also works well like sharing across a joke doing any sort of a contest that helps in engaging the audience and making people aware that yes you are uh, you are present so Uh, you can post it twice a day or you know if not twice a day at least once in a day make sure that you are posting it at right time if your audience is uh, ma majority of your people in your potential group is present on facebook let's say on e in evening hours then you should select the evening hours if you think they are going to be present on they are present on facebook during the office uh, lunch hours then go for those hours always be care, you know uh, careful or uh, just in you should be inquisitive to know for which all hours i am i going to get maximum viewership for my uh, you know what do you call that the status update the status update on the page so your status update should get maximum viewership choose the perfect time to post oh, i've already covered that so whether it's 8 am to 2 pm or the 7 am so restaurants usually have 7 am to 12 pm and uh, retailers generally have good time which is 8 am to 2 pm because uh,
people who are want to buy in stuff they they visit such kind of pages early morning these are certain studies so you know for restaurants it works in the evening but uh, you should understand your audience properly and uh, ask them uh, just generally ju- uh, you know which what timings do you uh, consume the internet most and when you say the internet uh, what about facebook i said the night hours or the evening hours or what so use eye catching quality images no, no brainer you guys already know that good images should be a part of your overall content marketing strategy when i say content marketing strategy whatever content you are posting on your facebook wall is part of content marketing right or a social media marketing it consists of both you can have attractive high resolution images these are certain pixels if you guys are uh web designers you can take a note of it i'll send this across presentation to you guys you can uh, refer to it again and again no problem so post your post should be generally lesser in characters because nobody has time in the world to read longer stuff more of picture more of imagery or or of uh, videos and less of characters is something which is being which uh, attracts maximum likes or comments this is certain uh, you know this is a, a one of the studies or observations which have been done so far to get maximum likes have uh, good eye catchy images and less of text so content and images should always go hand in hand it should let the audience know that who they are and what they like so maintain the relevancy part if you are uh, you know a brand which is uh, only for which is a feminine brand and you all of a sudden talking about uh, kids or you're talking about uh, men stuff it might break the monotony but uh, it might uh, l- you know you will lose the relevancy part so it's much better to uh, maintain the relevancy if you guys can share your voice let's say record your own personal video or your own personal uh, audio note and have it present on your facebook page that adds a much more personal touch it makes you feel connected to your audience so this is another way you can uh, you should have as a content on your page makes sense i believe and another thing is call to action like i told you you know buy now get now tell your friends get 10% off free shipping call to uh, call now to get 10% off all that stuff are call to action thanks or for answering uh, shefali and lena can i get a yes or a no from your side as well i hope your things are getting clear yes okay shefali are you around so using relevant apps apps are no more so do we have call to action as download mobile app absolutely you can do that yes yes uh, so but uh, that would be more like uh, if you say uh, download mobile app and get 250 rupees off something of that sort then uh, url to itunes then then you have to encourage the end customer why this should they download your uh, uh, would you say mobile app why should they uh, download an ebook why should they be part of your webinar you have to offer them something whether a discount coupon or whether a, a, a you know something free or something additional whatever that you ha- that you have to really think about you can check for your competitors what your competitors are offering so by just saying in that go and please download my mobile app is not going to help you you want that action to happen but you need to place that call to action with the motivation that why uh, why book it oh, sorry why download it you'll get that right so be entertaining that's uh, something which uh, many uh, brands follow uh if they feel that their brand is uh, you know can can talk of content which is a bit lighter in nature you know some funny pictures some funny videos you can post them twice a week or something then uh, makes sense and uh, you can always have educational videos guys so let's say uh in case of uh, web page which shefali has if she talks about how can you uh, let's say manage your handbag so all the ladies who have got plenty of handbags stocked in their house they might be not be even aware of that uh, they they have uh, 
unnecessarily you know uh, spent money uh, on uh, you know without even take, keeping an eye on their finances and budgets so in order to get maximum value out of it and you share a educational stuff you know an educational video that how do you uh, manage your inventory of uh, handbags or your collection not the inventory your collection of uh, handbags and uh, it if it sounds interesting to your audience then uh, they'll they'll actually get glued to it so yeah certain goods i mean it came to my mind or maybe you can just talk about uh, how do you uh, go about uh, negotiating with uh, uh, maybe you, you know people from whom you buy in stuff let's say uh, you're trying you're getting a uh, uh, a suit stitched what what sort of uh, things you should be asking your tailor or a boutique uh, you know the lady out there at the boutique what sort of questions you should be asking them uh, this, that can be a sort of a learning lesson in ed- educational stuff for your audience right so uh, create these uh, s- such kind of stuff and uh, place them in a, a picture format or something and uh, within a picture you know you can have that informational list and share that across on facebook so all educational humor like i said call to action your own video or your own personal voice like like you can have a smaller video saying hey guys we are having 10% discount this summer season okay like i said the seasonable offer so optimize your images according to the events festival whether it's diwali holi keep wishing them your personal uh you know whatever festivals uh, they celebrate just just be in touch with them try not to miss out on anything uh, any of those occasions to cash upon so if it's new year definitely make it a point to uh you know wish wish each and every fan of yours so cover photo and branding i've already covered that it's a, just a repetition it's 850 by 315 do just refer to page modo guys that that'll help you a lot page layout again the same stuff same stuff i've already told you be just be consistent with the, what people uh, communicate with you so if they are sending you messages or something uh be on the top of it and answer back to uh you know their queries or concerns or whatever on time you have this facebook insights probably uh, saurabh and shifali you might be aware of it uh lena since you would be creating your page for the first time you'll get to know once you'll create that automatically after a week or so you will start seeing how many people have liked your page how many posts being reached it's right up there can we iterate map in my page integrate map okay uh integrating pay, uh, map is possible but i have to see you just uh, need to change the what do you say your page uh, category if your page it's possible yeah absolutely in info that's very much possible but uh, you know like i'm saying you have to change the uh, kind of page you have so when i say it should have a category of local business because uh, map is only possible for a local business uh, page you know if it's, if it's a let's see so notifications insights publishing tools Oh yeah, for DMP, I believe we have right because I have uh, absolutely sort of said that right for my particular. So here you go, you have that uh, in place, Shifali. Your map is right up here, so that's the only way. So you can. So it's only New Delhi, okay. So you have just mentioned New Delhi. You can probably go ahead and edit it and get the entire address up. so where is the address part add a phone number add a long description 
so you need to mention all that do that part and okay it's a local business it says okay great so the category is there you can even change the name once enter a facebook so facebook web web address has not been defined by you yet so try playing around with this overall enter the hours of operation the page is you know i don't know why is this not getting edited it should when you add, you can add in phone numbers hours price range your website but it's not letting us edit the so facebook web web address is url the vanity url absolutely the web, so like facebook.com backslash whatever you want to put it so facebook.com backslash will definitely be there not really sure why it's why it has uh, restricted us in terms of not editing the uh, address again just play around with it in case it doesn't happen then uh, ed, the end thing is contact the facebook guys sometimes they respond and sometimes they're not it's a uh, support at the rate facebook.com you can anytime email them across i i have spoken them spoken to them quite number of times all right so insights like i was telling you earlier address was mentioned okay Oh yeah. Oh okay. Okay, I got it. So <laughs> this is irony. Then why do you want your address to be there? Your map. I mean, you have deleted address. Then why do you need a map? Don't don't have the map then. So if you have deleted, then that's the reason why it's not coming over. So you get the insights. Uh, you get to know the page likes, the reach, how many people visited, the post, and all that. Right. this is pretty easy stuff so within this week how many people have liked your page how many people have seen your page uh, which mean which is all about uh, people who have seen your uh, page comes under the post reach the unread notifications or any messages which are there uh, you can feature content so this is one of the uh, other functionality which i would show you you can feature a content let's say this was being added to, uh, by you yesterday you know this particular post now another post let's say you which you have added 3 4 four days back so may 29th if you want let's say if you want the uh, this particular one 27th one to be featured you can go ahead and post reach is just seeing the page is seeing the post absolutely i mean it's all about seeing the post so this like 14 people reached so only 14 people have seen your this this particular page so this particular post so only 14 people have done that and so this is there is one uh, so featured content is this one pin to top when i do a pin to top this particular post will be on the top for the next 7 days till the time i don't unpin it no matter how many new post i'll uh, be making so what has what generally happens whenever i have a new post only 14 have opened it only 14 have seen it so uh, opened would also be counted as one and seen had has uh, is also gets counted as one so like i said pin to the top if i click on this uh, it will go come on the top uh, no matter if there have been other post which are being done after may 27th these are being showcased and listed as per the dates right so if i have written something on march 29th on may 29th or may 30th that all of them will keep coming up right the uh, the most updated the most uh, recent one comes on the top right the most recent one but if i do the featured content that uh, that thing won't happen my this particular post will stay on the top for 7 days for next 7 days whatever you will keep posting in that will go underneath this particular post underneath this particular post so whatever you want to feature for longer period of time on the top you can do that this remains on the top for one week okay you can unpin it as well so that's about the featured content guys 
already told you this you can have milestones so have you seen milestones for uh, your own personal profiles you can even create for facebook pages so you have five uh, milestones for your personal profiles like you have passed out from college in 2002 you have got married in the year of 2008 or 2010 you uh, get certain milestones and then you feature that have you seen that you know the those milestones with the flag you can create that yeah so uh, that that doesn't uh, i mean there is no nothing different for which uh, you have to do for this just have to create a new post only and the milestone gets created okay i also want to tell you one more thing let's say i want to post in something uh, for future i say divine blessings wishes happy raksha bandhan to all its fans let's say and when is the raksha bandhan let's say i want to schedule it for future i can click on this and i can schedule it any idea when is the raksha bandhan i can schedule it for that day or and if if in case you don't don't know that then wish is happy independence day i can do that so the idea is that if i am available today i am free and i have uh, all the postings in my mind which i want to do it for my page for next one month or two months i can do that i can schedule it i can schedule it for july august 15th and let's say 10:54 am and i go ahead and schedule it make sense one post has been scheduled and on 15th of august at 10:54 am this post will get uh, posted on its own make sense the post post scheduling right sorab uh, lena sorab says yes lena and shefali are you clear on that so lena says yes shefali says yes. great okay so we have uh, some certain uh, i have use case to discuss suppose i don't have website i create facebook page then create ad would be paid ad when people click on it they come on facebook page with all the products photo absolutely yeah so if you so same is the case with shefali i mean uh, whatever thing you're discussing if you have just have a facebook page don't have a website then uh, you can use the facebook page for the promotion no problem yeah i hope that was your question yeah very good thing absolutely so woobox.com uh, is another platform which integrates a lot of uh, third party applications within your page try using it so if you have to run a particular what do you say uh, contest or something you can do that with the help of uh, woobox so try it for free uh, it's an amazing tool guys it does help uh, promote you know facebook ads so you can offer quiz you can create a quiz uh, video contest and what all not some instagram you can connect your instagram youtube and all that stuff pretty easy stuff that's why i'm not taking in detail is you just have to play around with it woobox it will integrate and it will help you to create uh, contest guys so page mode and woobox is something uh, which you should go ahead and uh, explore that's how the overall uh, look and feel of woobox is like this so if i want to run any quiz i can go ahead and create that a photo contest no offers currently exist so i need to create that okay there you go so create a new offer i create a quiz i can uh, mention what all the quiz is all about and right 
but it's no more uh, you know i no more see all these quiz and contests being part of facebook promotion these days it used to be quite a lot in earlier phase in uh, earlier days when i say earlier days i mean uh, like couple of years back i used to see a lot of brands doing that kind of stuff i don't see many brands using uh, contest and all that uh, you know a lot of uh, brands are not using the contest strategy at, at present as far as uh, trying that is concerned feel feel free to try that maybe it can help you shortstack.com is another uh, website which is industry renowned and helps you create you know the same kind of thing the sign up forms contest and all that so short stack.com i'm leaving all that to on to you the page modo woobox and short stack i believe it's perfectly fine uh, explore that guys if you have further questions uh, best ways to uh, first of all config you know do do the research part at your end and then come and ask me whatever query you have in terms of using them they're pretty easy uh, that's the reason why i'm not taking them in detail they they'll give you the overall uh, the their user interface is so simple that you won't find much of a problem all right so there are five no brainers which i want to talk about and uh, this is something which you might be knowing but uh, even after knowing these things which are pretty easy to uh, simple no uh, even a kid would be knowing about that but still many people don't apply them number one thing if you have a business card so many people just mention their website and email in their business card but don't forget to have the facebook page if you want to promote your facebook profile as well so within your business card do have the facebook page guys similarly i have already told you about the facebook vanity url i believe uh, it's it was clear to you you can have the facebook.com backslash username right once you go over there it will ask you for your profile uh, i mean your url which you want to create i hope it's uh, you are clear on the vanity url i have already shown you the web url which you will create for your phone facebook page yes says saurabh yes says lena all right so in case you want to do that go on to facebook.com backslash username go go on to this it will ask you to choose a username for you for your profile and for your web page uh, facebook page both uh you can link your website with your facebook profile so you can have a small batch of uh, facebook onto your uh, web page now this is not being done uh, much this so much bigger batch is not being put across by a lot of websites just a small icon of f uh, which is the facebook fim uh, symbol so uh, you can have that usually people have that and it's uh, by default it's coming in most of the websites so respond to everyone i have already told you if you are responding to everyone it's helping you and post content on regular basis and content is the king so just keep on having uh putting across a lot of content that's what facebook marketing is all about guys uh pretty easy stuff facebook is the most easiest so social media marketing is the most easiest as you know to talk about right any questions i hope it's all clear any questions or uh, queries you guys have feel uh, free to ask me please okay it's all clear say shifali great so uh, next class probably we'll have uh, we'll uh, have something new to talk about i hope uh, the session was informative i'll share with you the uh, recorded session yeah so let uh, I, i'll definitely let you whether it's going to be adwords or something else i'll keep keep you updated on that part it should be adverts for sure so i hope it was uh, a valuable session guys saurabh lena shefali all three of you just asking you it was okay great thanks thank you uh, lena thanks shefali thanks saurabh so let's connect next sunday again and uh, 
but I am always uh, just one uh, chat away on my WhatsApp. So connect with me on WhatsApp in case you have further question. See you then. Take care. Enjoy your Sunday. Bye, guys. Okay, but one more thing. Can we take other website stuff and paste it to my post? Oh, no, don't do that. Uh, don't don't uh, take other website stuff. You can just rephrase that, Saurabh. You can rephrase that stuff, but just don't copy paste the entire thing. Just uh, rephrase uh, the content and then you can go ahead and do it. Right, so I, I'm waiting, no problem. Uh, Saurabh, you can feel free to email me uh, your questions or if you want to ask me. So that our Facebook page appears in that particular website. I'm not getting you. So that our page, our Facebook page appears in that particular website. How is that, that going to possible? On other websites, you want your Facebook page to appear. And for that, OK, no problem. You can you can tell it to me in detail. Sure, no problem. So guys, uh, let's uh, wrap up the, today's session. And we'll keep keep in touch over WhatsApp. And uh, we'll, we'll meet next Sunday. Right? Take care then. Enjoy your enjoy the rest of the Sunday. Bye now. Thanks, Arab. Thanks, Lena. Thanks, Shafali.